Wednesday, the 1st of June. Hey there, I'm Ashton Altieri with you. Well, finally, a lot of moisture. This is the kind of storm we usually get in April, but it's finally happened. We're going to take it better late than never. Uh, two and a half inches, almost 2.6 inches of liquid last month. We needed May to be a wet month after the third driest April on record in thankfully made to deliver. It's usually our wettest month of the year, and I wouldn't be surprised if May ends up being that this year. Uh, so you can see these rain chances just quickly going down here through the morning hours. By this afternoon, we'll be completely dry all across the state of Colorado. Winter weather advisory does continue until noon, although that may be taken down early. Jefferson County is still the potential there for another inch or two above about 7,500 to 8,000 feet, and then higher up above 9,000 feet. Potential is still there for another one to three inches of snow, including along I-70 from Georgetown over to Copper Mountain. Temperatures today on the cool side for sure. About 25 degrees colder than normal for the first day of June. Tomorrow we start warming up a bit more, highs into the 70s, and then Friday we'll top out right around 80 or so in Denver. With that extra warmth on Friday does come a marginal threat for severe storms. So on the scale uh, that goes from 1 to 5, we're at a 1 on Friday. Still, the concern is there for a storm or two producing some hail or wind, something we really haven't talked much about. And we're quite thank thankful that we've gotten well over an inch of moisture in Denver from this recent storm without any severe weather. That doesn't happen very often this time of year. Friday 80, lower 80s for Saturday and Sunday, and then better chances for showers and storms early next week. Don't forget, Chris Spears will be back with your latest forecast tonight on CBS 4 News at 5, 6, and 10. So we'll see you then. And every 10 minutes over on the stream, CBS News Colorado. Come check us out anytime.